Hey guys, Ryan from Let Me Be Critic, and I'm here with a new review for you. This is the HBO film, Bad Education, starring Hugh Jackman, Allison Janney, and Ray Romano. I gotta score my way to number four, and I will get us to number one. These are the best early decision numbers that we've ever seen. This is a very real crime here, a theft of taxpayer money. The sum total is 250000 What? Oh, jeez, 250000 Everything's fine. Bad Education is a true story of the Roslyn High School scandal where the superintendent and several others in the Roslyn School District embezzled over $10 million from the school. This is the story of that starring Hugh Jackman as the superintendent. I was really looking forward to this movie. I heard about this movie months ago because I am from Long Island where this film takes place. I'm not from Roslyn. I'm from Suffolk County. I'm one county over, but I know a lot of the things going on in this movie. I've heard of this my entire life because this happened years ago. So I've heard about this for a very long time. So when they said that Hugh Jackman was making this movie, I was very excited. I love Hugh Jackman. I'm a huge Wolverine fan. I I think Hugh Jackman is great in almost everything he's in. Allison Janney, I think, is one of the most underrated actresses out there. And Ray Romano, who everybody loves Raymond. And I must say, this is definitely one of my favorite movies of this year. As someone who went to a Long Island school, I can tell you that this film is very authentic to the look and feel of a school in Long Island. The lighting is perfect, the dreariness, the almost cold feel in each room is very reminiscent to me, and it felt very real. The accents are also very spot on. Hugh Jackman had a couple of spots where I heard his Australian coming out a little bit, but other than that, he sounded like a principal I might have had, or a superintendent, or a teacher. He was very authentic. All of them are very authentic. Obviously, Ray Romano is from Long Island, so he didn't have to do that much different. It was written by one of the former students of the school at the time. There's a lot of realism in the dialogue and the look. The camera work in this movie is fantastic. It's some of the best camera work I've seen in this type of film. And the way the story unfolds is very interesting. I really enjoyed how they did it because it actually encourages re-watching. I actually watched this film twice before I reviewed it because things happen in the film where I was like, I wanna see if the acting choices reflect the story. And if you go back, all of the acting choices fit very well. I don't wanna go into exactly how, you have to watch the movie. If you want me to do a spoiler discussion maybe, I can do that. You'll watch the movie and you'll wanna go back to be like, okay, I wanna watch this particular actor and see how they're acting through these scenes. And all of it felt very real as someone who's lived on Long Island their entire life. This didn't feel like actors reenacting a movie. It felt like they were showing you something that actually happened. And they were just putting a camera on the wall and saying, look, this is what's going on. In comparisons to other films of this type, you know, Bombshell, The Post, I would say this is definitely better than both of those films. It's not quite as good as a Wolf of Wall Street because it doesn't have that sort of style. It's more of a realistic style. It has a lot more realism to it. So I think the only complaint that some people might have is they might say, oh, it's, it's dull. It's a little boring. I wouldn't see that. But I'm also from Long Island, so maybe I have more interest in this story than someone who's not from here would. But I think they really draw you in with the acting and with the camera work. And it makes you want to really see how deep this really goes. How deep this well of lying and deceit really go in the school districts. And it's very true. Long Island is kind of, I don't want to say corrupt with the school districts, but they're shady at best. I think they fixed a little bit of stuff, but the school districts are a little shady, and I think they do a really good job of showing that. Long Island is a very interesting place, and there's a lot of movies about Long Island for good reason, and I think this is in the upper echelon of films about Long Island. This is an HBO film, but it was not made for HBO. It was made to be a theatrical release film. HBO bought it, and now that looks like the greatest decision ever because theaters aren't open right now. So more people are gonna have eyes on bad education than they would have had otherwise. And I think out of all of the new movies that have come out post movie theaters closing, this is the best one. This is the best movie that's come out. This film really feels like a theatrical film that I think would have actually gotten awards consideration for Allison Janney and Hugh Jackman. But I definitely think this will be talked about for the Golden Globes 
and for the Emmys. Definitely for the Emmys. I think this will definitely be up there for TV films for the Emmys this year. I would rate Bad Education a 8.9 out of 10. Just outside of a 9 out of 10. It's right up there in my upper echelon of movies this year. If you're from Long Island, watch Bad Education 100%. And if you like true crime scandal movies, definitely recommend it. Hugh Jackman alone elevates this movie to a different level, as well as Allison Janney, who is an Oscar winner for a true crime film. The Tanya Harding movie, I, Tanya, which I've spoken of already. And Ray Romano is also a fantastic actor, but Hugh Jackman as the lead elevates this movie to a completely different level than a lot of movies of this like. And I think this definitely deserves a watch, especially if you're not doing anything, which I know most of you are not. So give Bad Education a watch. That was my review, guys. I'll have a couple more reviews out in the coming days. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.